The Remedio Vistaro is a wide-angled, mid-reatic, fundus imaging device. Today we're going to have a look at how to set it up and how to use it to capture some beautiful fundus images. This video will be split into three parts. First we'll see what's in the box, then we'll show you how to assemble the device, and finally we'll show you how to capture a fundus image. We'll also have a look at some of the extra features of the Vistaro app. With Vistaro, you will get two bags. The larger bag contains the Chindrist assembly. The other smaller bag contains Vistaro and accessories. In the larger bag, you'll find the following. The base plate of the Chindrist. Two screws for the Chindrist frame. The Chindrist frame. The adapter for the proximity sensor. The base of the Chindrist. The axis and its screw. An Allen key the side covers of the chindrist, two chindrist handles. In the smaller bag you'll find the chindrist arm to hold Vistaro, the Vistaro device and the power adapter for Vistaro. Place the base plate on the tabletop. Then place the chindrist base on top of it. Make sure it moves back and forth freely. Now attach the axis onto the Chindrist base. Use the provided Allen key to tighten the axis from below. Ensure that this notch on the axis is turned to face straight ahead. Now you can attach the Chindrist frame. Secure it with these two screws. Snap on these two side covers. Screw the Chindra's handlebars onto the sides. Now slide the Chindra's arm on top of the axis. Place Vistaro on top of the arm. Secure it by rotating the knob beneath it. Connect the proximity sensor cable to a power outlet. Plug in the power adapter to Vistaro and connect the other end to a power outlet. First turn on the device from here. Then turn on Bluetooth so that the mobile and the device can connect. Once the patient is seated, ask them to touch the top of their chin wrist with their forehead. A red light will show here indicating that contact is made. This contact ensures the right posture for image capture. Next, sign into the app with your ID. Create a patient folder and enter the patient details. Entering patient history is also possible here but it's optional. Then tap on add exam and the capture screen will open. Ask the patient to look at the red fixation light. The position of this light will change as the exam progresses. Make sure that the patient looks at it. As standard practice, the exam always starts with the right eye. If you only want to capture the left eye, tap on this button to switch. You can see that auto capture is already looking for an image. Now you need to bring the retina into view. To do this, center the pupil on the screen and slowly move forward until the retina comes to view. Adjust height and move sideways as needed. To adjust the height, rotate the joystick. To move sideways, simply move the joystick around like this. Once the retina is in view, you will see two squares of light. Align these two light squares with the green squares that you see on the screen. Once all the squares are aligned, an image will be captured automatically. If you think the image is ok, click on next to proceed with the second image of the same eye. Now Vistaro is ready to capture the left eye. Move the device and repeat the same process once again. You can view all the images you've taken in the patient folder. 
each eye will have two images and a third montaged image. Sharing and printing images is really easy. Just click on this icon and all your options will show up. Let's have a look at some more features of Vistaro. Tap here to see them. Under settings, you have a few options. You can adjust the live view intensity. You can turn on montage images and you can choose if you want to keep the app always logged in. You also have a practice mode which allows you to take images without saving them. If you're having any trouble using Vistaro, the user manual is right here for help. 